my channel so in today's video I am doing another makeup tutorial I'm just prepping my eyes with my Mac paint pot in the color painterly we're using the makeup revolution chilled palette today love the colors in this palette so that is what we're using to create this look so I'm coming in with this light green teal blue shade and I'm using a dense angled brush to carve out the shape that I want I filmed this look at like four in the morning so I just wanted to play around with makeup and try out a different look um, coming in with a little bit of a darker green just for that depth and dimension you guys know me I love the depth and the dimension and um, as I was saying I did this at like four in the morning so I was just playing around with makeup I like to use a dense brush just because it's easier for me to create the shape that I'm looking for when doing a cut crease now you can use any brush you want but if it's not a dense brush and it's a little fluffier, you're going to have a little bit more of cleanup time when cutting the crease, but you can use whatever brush you want. I'm just blending out the top part of the shape that we, you know, created just for that blended look. And I'm coming back in with the MAC Paint Pot in the color Painterly and just cutting the crease. You guys can already see how much neater that looks once you cut the shape that you created. And I'm just using the paint pot again. You can use your concealer, um, you could use your foundation, just anything to be able to cut the shape that you did to make it neater. I'm coming back in with that same angle brush and just creating another shape to this cut crease look. Kind of like the basic cut crease look, but we're not starting in the inner corner, we're starting more in the middle and still dragging it out and flicking it out more towards the end of my eyebrow. And I'm just once again using that same angled brush and just creating that shape. You're going to want to come in and blend out the edges. And I'm going to come and clean up that first shape again. Just because when I was blending this out, it kind of like not bled into, you know what I mean when colors like bleed together. It kind of, you know, went into that first shape. And I want to make sure that the two shapes are not connected. They're separated. So I'm just coming in with a little bit more of those two shades just to add more depth and dimension and blending it out. You guys are going to see right here I'm taking that same concealer brush in the MAC Paint Pot and just cleaning up that first shape just once again to separate it and then coming in and cleaning up that second shape for the cut crease that we just created. Now you can do this with any color you want. You can do pinks, you can do blues, greens, blacks, grays, whatever you want, any color. Coming in with the silver shade and I'm just adding a little bit of glitter. You guys know me, I love glitter. So I'm adding it on top of the first shape and a little underneath the first shape. It's a little bit easier for you guys just to watch instead of me explaining it, but I'm just adding some glitter. You know me, I love my glitter. So I'm spraying my brush again and coming in with the dark blue glitter. Now, since I did this look at four in the morning and I was just playing around with makeup, if I was to do this to go out, I would have used glitter glue instead of using the setting spray just because I want to ensure that glitter will stay on and not kind of flake off throughout the day. I'm just cleaning a little bit of that glitter up with some paint pot and coming in with a gold shadow for the rest of that blank space on our lid. So as I was saying, you could use an eyelash glue, a glitter glue, just anything to ensure that glitter and to make sure it stays on all day. But since I was going to be taking it off a little bit after I filmed this, I just used a setting spray. And I'm just using the concealer brush to make sure I can get really close to that blue glitter without overlapping it. Taking a makeup remover wipe, you could use a baby wipe, you could use concealer, whatever you want, just to clean up that edge so it's nice and sharp. And coming in with a really pretty brow bone color because we want to add some color up there as well. I wanted to do a glitter liner, so if you want a tutorial on this, I can do one, but it's so simple. You're just going to take a brush on eyelash adhesive and draw on a wing like you would with a liquid liner. So I'm doing that with my eyelash glue, and I'm going to take that same angle brush. Of course, I wiped it off so no green was on it, and pressing that gold glitter on that was from BH Cosmetics. Putting on my Jeffree Star mascara and also putting on my lashes. I feel like my looks are completed 
once I put eyelashes on. But you definitely don't have to wear lashes if you're not somebody that likes lashes. Just make sure that you curl your lashes and put some mascara on. But me, I love my big lashes. So my face routine is pretty much the same after all these years. I put a primer on, I put my foundation on. But if you want a more in-depth tutorial on my face routine, just let me know and I'll film that for you. That goes for any video idea that you want to see. If you're a beginner in makeup or you're just, you know, advanced in makeup and you just want to see how I do things, I can do how-to videos as well. You just got to let me know in the comments what you'd like to see. Um, if you have any you know makeup requests that you want to see different colors you can also let me know in the comments below and I'll film that as well I'm just coming in with my concealer and putting that underneath my eyes on my nose my cupid's bow I heard a noise because I was up by myself and it was super windy out I guess so I was like looking around making sure um, trying not to freak out and just blending out my concealer um, I put it underneath my eyes, my nose, my cupid's bow, my chin, and a little bit on my forehead. And I'm going to set my concealer with the Patrick Star MAC translucent powder, loose powder. And I'm just, you know, kind of baking for a little bit and then coming in with my CoverGirl powder and pressing that everywhere else to set that foundation because we don't want the foundation to be tacky because once we put on our bronzer, it will look muddy. So I make sure I set my whole face and then I'm going to come in and I'm just going to contour. Um, I love to add color back into my face once I put my foundation on because once you put your foundation on, um, it takes away any of your natural redness, um, your natural, you know, blushy cheeks. Um, so I'm coming in with a MAC blush to add some color onto my cheeks. I'm coming in with my Ofra highlighter and just spraying my face with my setting spray just to make that highlighter pop. You can spray your brush or you can spray your face afterwards, but today I decided to spray my face first and then put on my highlighter. I'm coming in with those two greenish shades from the beginning of this look that we used in our double cut crease just to add some color underneath our lash line. And then I'm going to come in with that light shade that we use for the brow bone. I'm getting ahead of myself right now. We're still on the green, Gina. We're still on the green. Okay, spraying my brush and coming in with that light shade. And I'm just pressing that on the inner corner of my eye for that nice pop. Oh, so pretty you guys this palette is gorgeous and I believe it's only $15 so it's affordable and amazing I'm coming with a brow gel just to put on top of my brows in case I got any shadow on them because you don't want to take no pictures and then you have eyeshadow on your eyebrows as you guys can see I smudged my mascara but a little tip um, let the mascara dry on your face let it dry completely and then you can come in with a q-tip and it will flake right off so while I was letting that mascara dry I came in with my lips I used the Dragon Beauty lip liner I don't know the shade but I know it's the darker one that I have and I'm just covering my lips with that lining them over lining them and filling them in and then coming in with my Kylie Cosmetics cocoa collection liquid lip and then coming in with Jeffree Star the gloss to add some nice shine on top of my lips and that is the completed look you guys I'm so happy with how it turned out it's super cool super different if you have any looks you want to see leave them down below and I'll see you all in my next video bye guys